Once upon a time, there was a princess called Belle. She was a very calm and clever girl, and she loved Christmas. What was that? This furry little guy is Beast. Beast really wanted to be friends with Belle, but he didn't know how to do it without scaring her with his crazy ideas. That very day, after scaring Belle once again, Beast saw Prince Charming talking to Snow White. He was so charming and funny that even she had fallen head over heels for him. Seeing Prince's behavior, Beast had an idea. Prince could teach him how to charm Belle. Please, Prince, teach me how to make friends with Belle, asked Beast with a pleading voice. Smug and eager to show his charm, Prince replied, This sure looks like a lot of work, but I'll help you. Thus, Prince accepted Beast's petition, and the charm training began. Here was the beginning of a long and unexpected journey for both of them. Showing off his confidence, Prince said to Beast, Christmas is the perfect time to make new friends. With gifts, you can win anyone over. Learn from the master, my friend. With great skill, Prince made a wonderful present for Snow White and gave it to her. Snow White was absolutely taken by his nice gesture and she said, You're so charming, Prince. Now, if you'd be so gentle, would you help me put up some decorations? I can't get tangled with silly things now. I must help Beast, he answered, carefree and a little annoyed. Snow White was stunned. It looked like Prince was charming only when it suited him. It was Beast's turn now. I watched Prince do it. How hard can this be? He said, determined, while looking for something to give Belle. <laughs> Is something the matter, Beast? I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm quite busy right now, said Belle, a little vexed for she didn't have time to fool around. Beast, tireless, answered as he unveiled his masterpiece. I brought you a gift, Belle. Hope you like it. It was a pile of trash. Shocked by the smell, Belle was disgusted. Poor Beast, so many years alone in the forest, didn't teach him how to give proper gifts to his friends. I followed Prince's advice to the rule. Why does Belle still hate me? He asked himself. Suddenly, he heard some loud noises coming from somewhere nearby. Beast started looking around. It was Prince and Snow White. She was asking for help, but he couldn't be bothered. He just had eyes for himself. Tired and irritated, Snow White finally left. Prince didn't even realize that something had happened. At that moment, Beast realized that maybe Prince was not the best teacher for what he needed. Maybe I should follow my own rules. The place was almost ready. Belle just had to put the star on top of the tree. Oh no! The ladder wasn't stable enough and Belle was about to fall. But suddenly, the ladder stopped trembling. It was Beast who made it stop. Belle couldn't believe her eyes. I thought you might need some help. And I'm sorry for bothering you before, he said, a bit shy. Happy, Belle finished putting up the star and jumped down to meet him. Thank you, Beast. That's just what I needed. Now that the work was done, it was time to have fun. Belle asked Beast to play with her, and they had the most wonderful Christmas ever. Belle, Beast, are you painting Easter eggs? <laughs> that looks so fun! Ah. A picture of yourself! Nice work, Belle! Beast, those eggs are for painting, not for playing! Now Belle has to go change! You have to be more careful, Beast! I really wouldn't play with Belle's egg, Beast! Why don't you paint one on your own, Beast? <laughs> hey! I said paint, not juggle! Well, you're going to break all the eggs! Uh -oh. Beast, there's only one two eggs left! Watch it! Good idea, Beast! If you put the eggs on that cushion, 
Nothing will happen to them. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Don't worry, Belle. Your egg is safe. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Belle. You didn't mean to break the egg, huh? Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Do you want to paint some eggs, Beast? Those Easter eggs look amazing, guys! <laughs> and delicious too, right, Belle? You couldn't help it, huh? In the end, they're chocolate oh. eggs, right? <laughs> hmm. What a yummy apple, Belle! <laughs> Are you sending it to your friends? Oh, <laughs> oh no! What happened mm. to the apple? <laughs> Robin, did you steal <laughs> Belle's apple? No more apples left. <laughs> wow, that ice cream looks delicious. <laughs> what are you up to, Robin? <laughs> huh? Hmm. What are you doing with that trolley? Oh no, Robin's taking Belle's ice cream. Huh? Where are you going, Belle? Hmm. Robin distracted Belle to get her ice cream. Hmm. What are you doing with Beast's cookies? No, Robin, don't eat them. <laughs> Those were beast cookies, Robin. Say hello to your followers. What a wonderful day to play in the snow. What are you up to? Do you want to build a snowman? Huh? Don't you want to play, Ira? <laughs> it's so much fun. Uh -huh. It's going to look amazing. <laughs> there are some things that are still missing. Let's go find them. <laughs> First, let's find the arms. Uh -huh. Those two branches look all right, don't you think? <laughs> Red, be careful not to fall! <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> the branches suit your snowman just right. Now, let's find the next item. Brooms! But they are very well secured. <laughs> it's move. That's a great snowman. Hmm, there's something wrong with this broom. Guys, watch out! It's the magic broom that's making the snowman fly. We need to bring him down as soon as possible. <laughs> Great! That will attract it. Uh -huh. Come on, Robin. It's our only chance. We have to lock it. Well done, Robin. Now we should bring the broom back to where it belongs. Look! Here's the top hat we needed. It looks Perfect now. Almost real. <laughs> the competition.
competition to determine who is the best tamperer in the world is about to begin. Our contenders today are Red Riding Hood and Cinderella. Hmm. And as our judge, we have the fair and kind Snow White. The first challenge is building the best tent as fast as you can. Are you ready, girls? Our contenders are working so hard. Huh? <laughs> it looks like we've got a winner. <laughs> huh? And the winner is Red. Our next challenge is making the best campfire marshmallows. Ready, steady, go! Okay, this isn't the most exciting challenge in the world. I admit it. <laughs> What? Hmm. There's something behind red? <laughs> oh no! You burnt your marshmallow! Cinderella wins the second challenge! And the third and final challenge will be picking up berries! Okay, apples then! Whoever picks up the most wins the tournament! Ready, steady, go! Is that a wolf? Was that you who was howling? That's mean. <laughs> oh. Poor Red. I think Cinderella wants to play with it too. Hey! Stop fighting! You're gonna break it! Uh-oh! It's out of control! You have to help her, Cinderella! of Cinderella Red? Ah. Any idea on how to catch her attention?
about going bigger? Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah! Preparing your birthday party all along. <laughs>